Greetings, everyone. Jim here. Israel against Iran, nation to maintain freedom to act despite a new JCPOA, and the parties are gathering next week, I believe it is, to discuss a new Iran nuclear deal. I wish them all the best with that. But anyway, Israel will continue to maintain its freedom to act against Iran even if the U.S. returns to the 2015 Iran deal. Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said today, Tuesday, Israel against Iran is really the whole world's battle against a ra radical Islamist regime that seeks a Shiite hegemony under a nuclear umbrella, Bennett said. We hope the world won't blink, but even if they do, we don't plan to blink. And I don't believe that Israel does plan to blink. Now, Bennett went on to say the current time is complex, and he's right about that, because there are agreements even with Israel's greatest allies. Now, as I just mentioned, the U.S. and Iran are set to return to indirect negotiations in Vienna next week to return to the 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action which would have the U.S. lift sanctions while imposing limitations on Iran's uranium enrichment. You know, and there are notions out there, there are beliefs uh, that uh, Mr. Biden, the current occupant of the White House, is doing everything he can to stand in Israel's way, that he's doing everything he can to facilitate Iran's uh, entry into the nuclear weapons arena. And I personally believe they are already there. But getting back to this, even if there is a return to an agreement with Iran, Israel is not a side to it. It is not obligated by it, Bennett said. This is just one more hot spot in the world right now, and this is a significant one. Uh, again, Israel against Iran. I asked in my article here, Will Israel soon use the IDF <clears throat> to strike Iran's nuclear installations? Would an Iranian response set off the prophesied Gog Magog war? My feeling is that we are quickly moving in this direction, folks. I, I just, I can't help but think, and, and I've felt this way before, and I'm sure we've all been, or many of us have been feeling this way now for years, but we are moving very quickly to major worldwide military uh, engagements. You have this, which could lead to the prophesied Gog-Magog war. Uh, you have China, Taiwan, you have Russia, Ukraine, you have, uh, the again, the migrant situation on the Belarus-Poland border that Belarus is facilitating, and it's, believing, it's believed that Russia is facilitating Belarus in this, in other words, there are so many hotspots. Put put aside the CZ two 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 and the Vax app and and all of that. You can't help but think. At least I can't help but think there are soon, very soon, to be events taking place in this world, whether they are stage staged or whether they are naturally kinetic events that occur that are going to take the focus of the world off the jibby-jabs and uh, the alleged uh, bugaboo and all of that and refocus on just basic survival in the event of a of major warfare, which could be cyber, which could possibly be nuclear. We are moving fast toward a lot of things right now, folks, in my humble opinion. Anyway, I will leave you a link to this. Please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this out, and please check out the links below to my Wayfarers Stories fiction series, End Times Fiction. You can see a link to this website here, stormwarningnow.com. It's my End Times News aggregation site. You can also follow it on Telegram, all linked below. But most importantly of all, please do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.